I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode at DJ Projects, episode 46. So this week at DJ Projects, we have got some footings, we've got fencing, and we've got a storm brewing. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. So good morning guys, it is Monday morning and first thing I've got to do is I've got to say thank you to every single one of you that has watched last Sunday's video. You guys have absolutely smashed it. 43,000 views in the first 18 hours. So from when it was released at 12 till six in the morning, cause that's when I first check it. I'm checking the comments all the time, sir. So if I don't reply, trust me, I see all the comments. Well, I checked the statistics and the analytics after 18 hours and six o'clock this morning, I checked it around about half past six, 43,000 views. We have never, ever done that. So I wanna say a massive, massive, massive Thank you to everyone that tuned in and is supporting the DJ channel, the DJ brand. It means so much to us. I want to say a massive, massive thank you, guys. I asked for 6,000 likes, and as of this morning, we were on around about 4,800. So I believe we are going to hit that 6,000 likes. So as soon as we hit those 6,000 likes, you best believe I will be in those comments and I will be picking one of you guys to win a not too shabby hoodie. I'll message the winner, I'll ask them whatever they want they can have. So thank you for getting involved in that because if you don't comment, you haven't got a chance to win, right? So thank you very much for being involved. That's the whole point of the channel. The interaction means so much to us and it seems that you guys enjoyed it because you interacted to appreciate that. But anyway, what are we doing today? Well, right, we are on a fencing job. The grab is in all week for MOT. You ain't gonna see nothing to do with the grabs, but you're gonna see plenty of fencing jobs. It's gonna be me and it's gonna be Jordan this time. Jordan, the HGV driver who is saving the day by coming in on Saturdays. So you're gonna see me and Jordan. Taft's got another week or so off, maybe two more weeks. Hopefully he'll be back soon and he will be back on the channel installing some fences with me. My dad may even join us as well on a couple of these fencing installs, hopefully, because you all seem to like the father-son bond and the team that we have going on. So yeah, I'm gonna get to the job. I'm gonna show you what we're up to. Sorry for the long intro. I just love you guys. So we're on the job, guys. It's me and it's Jordan. And can anyone remember next door? Just from that, can anyone remember? Let me show you, let me show you. I don't know if, I don't know if they're still in bed because we're here a little bit earlier, so I'm not gonna show you nothing to do with the front or near the extension. I'm only gonna show you a little glimpse until I know they're definitely up. Oh, look at that beauty. Not too shabby that guys. So yes, we are fencing next door to the landscaping job. And this is what we're working with. I think it's in need, right? Definitely in need. There's these boundary posts that are having to come out of the way because, see with our posters, the timber? Definitely in the way, ain't it? But of course, we'll find out our definite line once we take all of this fencing out of the way. Last time me and Taff was here, the legend Taff, we put a freeway post in here because there was always the odd chance we could do this fencing. Look at that. We've got an intermediate right there that we can possibly run straight off. Again, it'll be easier to tell once we get rid of all of this fencing. As always, it starts with the rip down. Taff, if you're watching this video, I want you to take notice. Take some notice, mate. You were buying me one drink. You know those little oh, energy drinks? Out the window. <laughs> Jordan says Taff is out the window. There's a new man on the block. Jordan's buying me four Taff. So when you come back, you better up your game, mate. Because you know I never have no money in my pocket. <laughs> right, let's get cracked on. Get this fencing done. I'm so making some progress.
so Jordan's busy just getting a post boot out of the way. You see this thing here? It's just in the way. Yes, it's not in the way because we're not putting a post in there, but it's in the way for the gravel ball. The gravel ball needs to be a tiny bit lower because of course we're going off this. And when I say we're going off this post, guys, if I stand on this mound, of course I'm above. I'm above everything, right? When you actually stand at grass ground level, it's the right height. It's gonna be six foot running across. May have to step it down a bit. We're gonna see how it falls. Definitely gonna look good though. Whilst Jordan was doing that, I have the hedge cutter in my hands, as you just saw, and cleared this bit down here. Reason I've cleared this down here, because you see the boundary post? We're going up to this boundary post and then just putting a little return in there. So nothing crazy, but I've moved it everything out of the way so we can get a string line down to that post there. You can see the height of the post. Look at Jordan, the post is above him. So what we'll do, we'll sort everything out. We'll get this first bay in and then we'll catch up with you guys and we'll really start cracking on. The string line's up. First bay's up as well. Running it at pretty much the same height as next door. Yes, there's a slight difference in grand heights from next door to this one, but that is the plan to run pretty much all the way across. Customer isn't too fussed about this one being super level. Just go with the drops, go with the ground. We'll be digging a little bit of a trench out there so we can sort of get it nice and level. Of course, if we can get it super level all the way on the one gravel board, that's exactly what we'll do. You can see string lines running all the way down there now. That's what we're going to be following. So, set you up on the time lapse for the GoPro. Let us know what these time lapses are like using this GoPro as well. We used them pretty much most of last Sunday's video. Also, of course, we're using this beast of a tripod that Joe Everest sent us. Forgot my weight though to put it here so it's a bit more stable, but it still feels nice and safe. Yeah, let us know what this GoPro is like on the time lapses. Because if it's no good, obviously we don't want to use it, but I think it's okay. We'll set you up. This one a bit closer. A bit back to the time lapse. But of course, when you're messing against the Trump, Trump. <laughs> when you're messing with a stump, <laughs> there is an S. <laughs> course you're gonna hit big boys like this and guess where our post has got to go not there not there but right there so what we're gonna do you may ask well what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down the side of it here because you can get under it look George just opening it up at the side there there's the uh, old post lock it's actually in a metal boot as well so that might be bode well for us there might be no concrete Maybe that's why they did the metal boots because they were hitting roots, couldn't put the concrete in and that's a lot easier. It's not as wide. Concrete, massive balls, they can just sink straight in. So I'm hoping it's good now. So anyway, what do you do? Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a cheap saw, that one just there. I'm gonna cut away there, I'm gonna cut away there. I'm gonna just drop our post in there. So let's get it gone. Grab that out from Jord. Show him the camera, mate. It's a big one. It's a big one. With a blunt ass saw. It costs four pound. But it's done the job. Yeah. Hopefully, there's nothing in the way. Oh, there's probably another one below it, but uh, we'll keep cracking on now. Too shabby already. 
me and Jordan would be lying if he was to say that was easy. Because that was anything but easy. It's all filled in now. Look, all the post fix in there. Jordan's just backfilling. Whilst Jordan does that, I'll get the six foot level. If you're ever doing fencing, guys, get yourself a six foot level, a six foot piece of timber. The end in there. See where it returns to. Mark it and start digging your hole. As simple as that. Don't use gravel boards. Don't use tape. Just get a six foot level that you don't use or a bit of timber. Works so much easier. So, it's going to be around here. But we'll get this one in as well. Save my wounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you can see behind me, we have a Jordan and his natural habitat. Digging away, looking, trying to survive. Let's have a closer look at the Jordan, the mysterious Jordan. We can't get too close. As you can see, the Jordan, hard at work, protecting his family. Looks like he's putting fencing in. Oh, how they've evolved. We'll leave him to it before he gets spooked. Let's be gone. Well, we've got a wet one now then, guys. Raining. It's chucking it down. Neighbour is kindly going to look after us with a coffee. They're just making it now. And now I know for a fact that they're up. He's actually up playing golf at 10 past 8. Gonna have another good look, like. Oh, we've got plants in. Going to be some colour there. I'll just show you from the other side. Oh, it looks amazing. Still makes me laugh that some people said that these borders were too big. You can never have them too big. Looks very, very nice. Seeing as it's raining, I don't want to get the GoPro too wet, don't want to get my phone too wet. We'll do this one with the magic fingers. Here we go. Oh, the magic fingers are still working. We've dropped this one by a baton, so we dropped it by one inch. Why have we dropped it by one inch, you may be asking. So we was able to run that one all the way level because it was a big mound here where these, uh, these conifers used to be. Can you see the slabs? If we lift that gravel board up in the air, around about an inch, it's only an inch, but if we lift it up an inch, there's gonna be an inch gap running all the way underneath. Some of you would say, why don't you just use an extra gravel board? Well, one, it would only be a one inch gravel board cut if you was to do it that way, or you'd have to bury six inches near enough with a six inch gravel board. That is not worth it, guys. It is easier, less time consuming to drop that panel and run with the ground now. I don't know if you'll see anyway, 
the ground really starts to drop down now, sort of like a dip down. So it's going to have to step anyway when it got past this garage. Can you see this one that we did as well, guys? You see how we dropped this one? So we had reasonably level, dropped it an inch, look on the button. Reasonably level, and then it dropped again further down, further as we went. Sometimes you do have to drop it. It's just the nature of the ground, the nature of the beast. We'll keep continuing. Even when it's raining, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll just show you what it's looking like in a minute. So we just need to post in that one there. Got a free shower if you want one look. So what we're gonna do, seeing as it is tight, very tight now. That post has been setting for a while. That post has been setting for a while. We're gonna slide that panel out so we can use that as access. And then when we're about to leave, we'll slide that bad boy back in there and it's nice and secure again. Because as you can see, not moving all that. It's full of water as well. Definitely ain't moving that. So we'll slide this panel out of the way, chuck it behind for a sec. But uh, yeah, and then we'll slide it back in once it's done. A little bit awkward to film now, guys. One, because it is absolutely chucking it down. Phone and GoPro are going to get wrecked. Don't really want to wreck the uh, the tripod as well. No room this side. But I still will film from the other side. Might just be a few magic fingers and all that sort of stuff. So we'll get this out. We'll get that post in. And we'll keep cracking on. Well, what do you think? Think it looks good? Let us know in the comments down below, guys. Really do appreciate the interaction with the channel. Really do appreciate it. Just a panel to slide in there tomorrow. Jamie's already made it. I sent it a while back. He's already texted me back saying he's made it. And there'll be a panel returning to the garage. I'm going to put a 4x2 onto the garage. And then the panel is going to be around about six foot tall. So there'll be no gravel board. It's just going to be a return. A bit like what we did over at that one. Let me go and show you. Done quite a bit of fencing down here. All the way up there, look. This con all this fencing consists of three gardens, three individual gardens. The landscaping one, just behind me. The neighbor's garden that asked us to see if we could do the fencing whilst I was doing this original fencing. And now next door, so quite a bit of fencing. But that fence, that little panel that I was on about is the divider right here. See the divider? That's what we'll be doing. You see how it's on the wall? rather than being in a concrete post that's exactly what we're going to be doing down way down there at the other garage uh, no need to be a concrete post there hello there did you enjoy my david attenborough voice earlier when jordan was in his uh, natural habitat <laughs> yeah so uh, we'll get this panel slid in behind us you can watch us do that nice and raw oh arms killing holding this camera let's get up panel
Lovely. Me and Jordan are about to head back to the yard, empty the van and the tools and the rubbish, leaving a few material. Leaving a few materials here. It's going to be easier for me to pick them materials up tomorrow and get them on the van rather than uh, trying to get them on the van here. I've got to strap all of this up. I don't fancy putting the good materials on with this stuff. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much for watching us so far. Remember to like the video because they always help the channel and you're so close to 6,000 likes on the other one. I've just had another look and it's on 5,200 likes and 48,000 views. So thank you very much for that, guys. I'm not sure what my dad's been doing today, but uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Let's see if my dad's done anything. Afternoon. It is Monday afternoon. I've been interviewing this morning with Bernie. Not for Taft's job, because Taft looks like he's recovering all right, just needs a bit more time. We do need someone to go out with Steve -er, and we've got lots of landscaping to do as well. So we've been interviewing all morning. We need someone in the concrete side and someone on the landscaping side. So that's what I've been doing. But the parcel has come. I've just opened it. I'll show you. I've already opened it. I've just put it back together. That. There's something for the girls in the office, and something for me and Steve. The guy did contact me because he forgot to put a note in there. And I've just been through Instagram. We get that many messages through. In I can't find your, your name, mate. But you know who you are, and we do appreciate it. And thank you, thank you very, very much. I'm going to give these to the girls now. I'm going to put it on and make this office smell lovely. I've set it up, and it smells absolutely lovely. It's gonna smell like a boudoir in here soon. Okay. And Stevie will be happy. Jordan's favorite, chocolate. Ooh, look at them. The holiday's getting closer and closer. We're getting fatter and fatter. Cheers, mate. So yes, it's back. Power barrow. I'm just stripping it down now. This bolt here had come out, so I put some Loctite on that and I don't believe it's got any transmission fluid in it. I pulled that out, there's nothing coming out. And there's a couple of other little bits on it, which have come loose. And then hopefully, we should be good to go. But this has just come. Give me some chocolate. So we'll take this in the office and we'll have a look what's in there. So this is the gift from Richie. Thank you very much. I believe they're for the girls in the office. So we'll give them them that. Maury. Hello. From a subscriber. From a subscriber? Yeah. For you? For me? Yeah, for you. Never. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, I'm getting excited here. Really? Valentine's Day and all up. Hey, who's that from? You and Ben's got one. Wow. Thank you very much, guys. From Richie. From Richie. Yeah. Appreciate it, Richie. Really do. Thanks very much. What's that? For you. From a subscriber. Oh. I can see a heart. For Valentine's Day as well. I think because you always get forgotten about in the office and not mentioned behind the scenes, so. Thank you, Richie. And can I just say, you're the one and only that's bought me anything for Valentine's Day. David hasn't. So thank you. I appreciate it. Some Freire Rochers. Thank you very much. You don't have to do this, you know. Really yeah. don't. But we do appreciate every little bit. And, wow. Variety box. 30 products. Six sneakers. Six Twix. Six M&Ms. Six Bounties. And six Maltesers. Thank you very much, Richard. Much appreciated. Thank you. I will share these out with the lads and the ladies in the office. But yeah, everything you subscribers send us in is really, really appreciated. You don't need to do it. I must stress, you don't need to do it. But whatever you do, we much appreciate. We love putting these videos out for you. We really do. And me and Steve, just enjoy it. We really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it too. So I'll crack on with that power barrel now, getting that ready, and I'll show you once it's all working. Fingers crossed. So we've filled the transmission oil up. I've emptied the fuel, put some fresh fuel in it. I'm just gonna take it around the other side now, get a quick jet wash, and then put it all back together. But it starts lovely. 
moment of truth will be whether it drives forwards and backwards fine but i'm thinking the transmission fluid that bolt being missing was the cause of the problem so let's get it washed so it's all running get washed it off I've just got to put the covers back on now but yeah it seems to have fixed it hopefully we'll have no problems that cover on there look i'll get back on it's a little bit dark i've been buying again i've been investing in the company you'll never guess what we've got this time it's let me show you it's a bit dark i know but we bought some steps and a platform to go on the opposite side of the soil screener so the lads are nice and safe and when they're picking up bits of turf off they've got a nice platform to stand on it was only 50 quid off marketplace so I've been spending again but i'm sure steve will show you properly in the morning when he takes it off but now it's home time we're gonna get locked up and we'll see you guys so good morning guys it is tuesday morning me and jordan have just done a delivery all the way in uh, lenton i believe if you know where that is it was 12 smooth gravel boards and seven 10 foot posts and we're back can you tell that we are back on this fencing job we're here to finish it we've got the panels around there jordan's just rolling up the strap and putting it inside so we don't get soaked sometimes we leave them on the back but when it rains, because yes, it's raining once again, you get soaked and just no good using them. So yeah, this is what we're doing. So we've got our panels, look. One taller one for the corner, smaller one to match those ones. So the smaller one I'll have to go in here. Let's get that tall panel in here. It'll be a bit grainy because it's a bit dark, guys. So I'm going to use this into here, return across, going to put a timber on the wall and then screw that in so i'm gonna get that one in because there's nowhere to film there's nowhere to put the camera look get that one in and then we'll catch so there we have it nice and secure in there now no it's just this panel there we'll do that with the magic fingers oh baby looking very very nice now we need to get that one back in there as well as you'll be able to see once that panel's in there lovely and secure from this side shame about that day though This is that log that me and Jordan had to get through. It was not a fun experience. <laughs> We've got some materials to put on there, which we'll do in two seconds because we'll just slide this bad boy in, but we'll do this with the magic fingers. We've already saw a struggle with this once. As you can see, it's all done. Let me just remind you what this was looking like, guys. Oh boy, it needed a replacement, right? Holes everywhere. Wasn't as safe as it could have been, but now nah, look at it. Got to be a not too shabby install, right? Look at that. Come on, guys. Drop a like on this video for this one. For the weather, for the product, for how good it looks. Most importantly, drop a like for the David Attenborough impression. Hello there. I think that may be it for Tuesday's filming because me and my dad we're on a job we're on a nice nice job a two-day job and we're going to film it for youtube do not worry this video is not going to end we've got thursday we've got friday we've got some good jobs coming so from me today that is it i will see you probably in the next clip good morning change of plan i've changed it i don't think we're gonna have enough footage today it is absolutely souring it down just for a standalone video on this footing job so we're just going to film as normal we're going to take you along the ride but first stop is petrol station fuel the fuels up next stop outfield construction to drop a light off because the brackets broke on the back and it's in for its mot today and then final stop will be the footing job and we'll show you when we get there so we're fueled up with fuel and it's still raining next stop outfield so here we are the outfield plant and construction. We're going to get this light to the mechanics and then be on our way. All dropped off, grabs in there, just seeing it, he's working away on it. MOT is tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed it passes. If not, these boys will sort it out, definitely. So, next stop, 
The footings. The footings job. So yeah, run away in uh So we'll see you on site. Diggers off. Got it off with these lot, with these ramps. So my dad has ratchet strapped the ramps to the van so there's no movement. Let's just say you won't be putting it back on with them ramps. It's a little bit too sketchy for our liking. Want to be nice and safe, remember, so we're getting that back on with a grab. But if you're a new subscriber, you would have missed the video of us installing all of this fencing. There was shrubs galore everywhere. There was massive, massive trees, as you can see. All of the fencing was done on this property by us at D and J Projects. And it took four and a half days, four and a half days to get all this fencing done. And it is 85, 86, 87 bays. So it was a big one. It was a big one indeed. Really enjoyed this one. Really, really enjoyed this one. Video is on 207 or 210,000 views. So we appreciate you guys who have watched that. And if you are new around here and you haven't saw this video, I'll put a pop-up link in one of the corners now and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Press the notification bell, always helps. And make sure you like this video. But yeah, it's raining. I think we're gonna get the waterproof jackets on. We've got wellies as well. That's how wet it is. And let my dad just explain what we're gonna be doing on this job. And before anyone mentions my dad's coat, yes, we need bigger ones, because I look the exact same. <laughs> You Mine's keep sending that chocolate in. I've got two jackets and they're both in the grab. I didn't realise. <laughs> so yeah, this is... This is what happens when you send that chocolate in. Nothing fits. <laughs> it's a little bit tight. The weather's dampening, but it's not going to dampen our moods. We're no. going to be happy. Positive vibes on this job. And what's happening? We are doing footings. Because James is having a lovely extension and it will be lovely indeed. It's going to be a big one. We're taking it from the existing build out 5.1 which is roughly around about here we're going straight down to the pins down there returning back and where the yellow string line is coming back up there is going to be a connecting footing here there's going to be 100 150 mil straight off the top and that's what we're going to be doing today battling the weather as well it is dry now and we're filming but we need to be digging really so let's get cracked on. Customer is going to make a start. We're just going to blade off there and he's going to start digging the footings out. Not taking long in this. He didn't really need us here. Yeah. <laughs> no time at all. <laughs> but let's get cracked on. Dad's decided to start with grading some of this ground away, getting rid of those shrubs. Because obviously all of the extensions going there, they're not going to be staying either, so they have to be dug out of the way. And I believe from where that pin was anyway, a lot of them were in the way, so they had to come out anyway. So Dad's just getting them out of the way, and then we will start some foundations. This thing's in the way as well. And bloody hell, it's hard. Doesn't move one bit. But that's got a massive, massive ball of concrete. So we'll have to probably dig all the way around it and sort of like pull it out. A bit like what we had to do with the stump down there. If you not saw that, that was absolutely massive. Biggest stump we've ever had to pull out, I believe. Dad might correct me on that, but yeah, this is uh, this is going to be hard to get out as well. Oh, and look, with the power barrel, hopefully it won't try and kill us this time. So the post is snapped. Not ideal. Let me see. 
You're wondering why it's taking so long. We found all the services in one place. So we've got a drain here. And just here, we've got electric cable. Obviously we've got a drain with this, tapping yes. down there, which is still going to be serviceable because that drain is coming down there and the brickwork's stepping in slightly. So that drain's going to be moved to there. So yeah, Steve's got a bit of hand digging today. Yep. So it's a good job. Customer is looking after us with the coffee. And the snacks. Oh, baby. So I guess we'll have this. Dad, snack. Dad'll jump on digger and then I'll get hand digging. That is also 600 out, guys, from the house to where that is just there. That is around about 600. Yeah, because the brickwork's going to be, be around about here. I don't want to put my coffee down, so it's from here to yeah. about here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a 600 wide trench. So I'll be using the 600 bucket to make it easier for ourselves. Well, we was. Yeah. There's always summit, though, guys. There's always summit. Don't worry, though. We'll get past it. <laughs> that must have been a Friday afternoon job. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think uh, that was whatever they've got left, we'll just put it in the hole? <laughs> the boss will moan at us if, uh, if we take anything back to the yard. Jesus! <laughs> no wonder it didn't move when I kicked it. <laughs> oh my God, but come on guys, but what about the digger dangerous? Come on, the power that digger's so just had. <laughs> There's no that JCB digger dangerous can't do. Look oh, at that monster. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna get in there. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Oh bloody hell. But anyway guys, why well, dad's been messing with that. I it over here though. <laughs> bloody hell. Right, we're a meter down. So that's a meter right there. I need to square it off, get it looking pretty for the inspector. That's the electric there, that's the drain there. That's gonna start pulling that away and then we're gonna undermine everything there, make sure we can get it nice and clear. But yeah, slow progress so far. And we've got quite a bit to do. services and we've got down to footing level and we've got down to a nice solid level we've set our laser level up so we know we're going to be digging at the right depth that's the laser level guys as well so oh now we've got to take this out there's no more services in here but we'll still dig carefully take this out to where that road pin is and then we're going swing the line up and straight down there hopefully there'll be some progress and the weather's been kind apart from now because as you could just see it's raining it is oh, raining it's once more it's spitting everyone inside it's spitting it's spitting that's coming from a man that was not out in it yesterday getting drenched <laughs> he's got nothing to say look <laughs> Right, yeah, he did, I bet he did. Right, well, uh, this has been working all right as well. It's not tried to kill me yet, so that's a bonus. Well, uh, that'll keep digging. I'll keep taking this over there. Set you up for a time lapse. It's got iron in from tough. Yeah, tough. Gently does it.
making a bit of progress guys obviously that was all the time consuming bit now we're starting to get somewhere so dad's just been pushing up that heap there so when obviously we've got the grab it's easier to get and stretching all the way and of course there's going to be more inert waste soil muck clay whatever you want to call it pretty much just clay all here tomorrow as well because uh we've only just got started really but i think that's another day at D &J. you reckon that's another day at D &J? definitely another day at D &J. we'll see you in the morning right and early <laughs> morning we're back on the footage job we're just having a quick coffee we've just been working out of the plans the plans are in here to keep them dry working out the distances we need to dig out. We've done a centre line, centre of bucket, and we've strung a line there, 50 mil off, so we don't catch up. Jordan has joined us today. Yes, number one, I'm here. <laughs> His arms are hurting him as well. He's had a, he's had a day in the concrete side. <laughs> he sees what graft goes in. <laughs> but yeah, we... To be fair, my arms killed the first time as well. It's teamwork at the NJ. We like to swap around. Everyone gets trained on everything. So it's a variety of stuff. Like you see the concrete lads come out defensive, they're learning. Those lads go in on the concrete side. We like to learn it. But yeah, we'll get this coffee drink and then we'll dig this line down here. Hopefully make some progress today because storm. Rondo. Is it Rondo? Or something like that. They were on about it in the radio, I can't remember what it's called. Some storm with some name is coming later and we don't want to be caught out in that. You can probably tell it is wind there, so if you do pick up a wind noise, I do apologise, we're in a massive open area, as you can see, so chances are there's going to be a little bit of wind noise, do apologise in advance, we're still working on that road mic idea. We'll sort it soon guys, one step at a time, yeah? But yeah, let's get this dug out. And crack Tom. And crack Tom. So we're making quite a bit of progress guys but I don't want to show you the same thing all the time so let's make a bit more progress. It's going to be a big extension ain't it? Bear in mind it doesn't finish there. It's going to run all the way to here. Give or take. Somewhere here. So all of that and then it's going down there as well. That's part two. This is part one. Being looked after with the coffee and the biscuits, so we're gonna have these. And we'll catch back up after when we've made some more progress around about there. So Dad's been taking the top off there now. Jordan's clearing up, chucking all the bricks in. And I'm obviously on the power barrel. You can see how far we've gone down. Quite a bit. This is what we're doing for a little bit longer. Well, it's 12 o'clock, new video is live, so hopefully you've watched that already. We're gonna have some lunch, watch the video, and crack on with this afterwards. Today we hit 6,000 likes, fantastic. Can't thank you enough, me and Stevie are over the moon with that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna let Jordan pick one lucky winner, and you're gonna win a not too shabby hoodie or sweatshirt, whatever you prefer. I'd go for the hoodie, because the hoodie is a bit more expensive. And the way you win these, you have to be active in the comments down below. We have to see your name. Keep on popping up every time. Commenting, sharing, and liking the videos. Most important, liking the videos, because it helps the channel out and it helps the boys and girls at DJ Projects. So we're going to break for lunch now, and Jordan's going to pick one lucky winner. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> so Jordan's picked the lucky winner. Who is it, Jordan? Jeanette Whitemore. What I've done, I'd already contacted you by now and hopefully you've contacted us back. Stevie's going to put up here somewhere around here details of her name. But yeah, 
if you do want to be a lucky winner and win some of these jumpers mugs and stuff just make sure you're active in the comments liking the video sharing and just basically uh, interacting with the channel supporting the boys and girls at dnj but with that said we've got to crack on because this job isn't going to do itself Made a bit of progress, but we've had to stop. Why have we had to stop, you may ask? Powell Bowers tried to kill us again. She died once more. Dad's gonna have to weld, uh, weld the part. I'll show you where that part is. <sighs> so as Stevie mentioned, the power power is broke. Yet again. Two problems with it. Stevie did mention it was struggling to get into reverse. I believe this bit here is bent and this bracket sits in there that's been bending up so it's been hard to get in gear because the gearbox is held up by this bracket and when the gearbox drops it's a bit of a weird design actually i might have to when we get it back in look at putting a better bracket here or something but for the time being i'm going to get my nifty welder out welding the bracket on there i'm putting the nut back in there and then i'm going to weld it in and this is the other bit but it's broke i'm going to weld that back on and then bolt it all back together and hopefully my weld will last just so we can get them footings in. Yeah, two, two bits of broke on it, but that's the only bit, this bracket holds this gearbox up, which causes all the problems. But before that, it was running fine, wasn't it, mate? It's when Jordan jumped on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was using it and it was fine. Just like when Taff broke it the first time, it was Jordan this time. <laughs> it was. But well, it, it was struggling and going in yeah. reverse. Mentioned at dinner time, just before we had lunch, 12 o'clock, told my dad, it's sticking in reverse a little yeah, bit like when it tried to kill us. So hopefully this fixes it. Well, I'll get this welded up and then we'll see how we get on. And we're back. Yes, we are on the footing shop. The power bar is back. I don't know how long he's gonna be back for, guys. It's playing up. I think something wrong in the gearbox. I'm not sure, but I've welded the bracket up and hopefully, fingers crossed, it lasts just for this job so we can get a proper look at it. But what's the plan today? Me and Jordan are digging a footing down here, connecting up with that one and then the other Jordan, yes, we have got two Jordans at DNJ. A lot of people ask in the comments, is there two Jordans? Yes, there is two Jordans. There's Jordan Humphreys and Jordan Ward. So they're the two Jordans. He'll be joining us, he's just doing a quick delivery and then he's gonna be out here. So let's get this footing out. Chuck all the soil across there for now so we're not using the power bar. And when Jordan gets here, he can jump on the power bar. So far, as you can see, we found the cables. They loop around there and dive off somewhere down there. But yeah, we, we're connecting up that one and that one now. So we'll get this dug out. When we've connected up, we'll show you a bit more. So, how far we've got. The inspector's been out. We've got to take it down 100 mil 
deeper so it's 1.1 there because of that tree over there and the roots but yeah we hit to here this pin here is external wall so we'll have to go a bit further and then it's straight across and then where that string line is we're turning back up to there but we'll have to dig that trench first bring that one down and across to there then dig that and then over the other side polish the corner up but we're just going to break for lunch now both jordans are with me so that's going to be confusing so we'll catch up after lunch It's taken a bit of a turn for the worst. We made progress down today. I think there's an old soak away there. So we're just clearing a bit of that outside bucket. 200 back brickwork. This is half a meter marker we're working to. So that line lines up with that line over there. But we're just going to take cover for two minutes while this blows over. see by the time lapse there is mounds and mounds of soil i've tried to pull it up so the grab can get it i'll have to do a bit more tomorrow i think but we've got a nice line there we could tip some more in that's took me about an hour i'll just show you what we got up to around the back so we've dug all the way down there nice clean footing down that section and we've managed to get to there so that just leaves the remainder of that section and that section and blade all this off and get rid of that this job will be complete tomorrow and then we've got a bit of a channel to dig over there some drainage to run right up to that chamber there but that mild of saws in the way so that's got to be cleared as well but that's enough of me and the boys from here let's go and see what stevie's been up to good morning guys it is thursday morning and me and finn Yo. On a fencing job. Taking it in turns. Everyone's having a go on everything at the minute. Jordan was on the concrete side uh, the other day, Tuesday or Wednesday. And now Finn's on the uh, on the fencing. So this is what we'll be replacing. See this fence in there? In fact, let me spin you around. Let me show you. So that hedge is coming out there. We're putting a six foot fence in, so it's going to be roughly the same height as that panel. Sorry if it's windy as well. We're having that storm. Storm Dudley and Eunice. All this fencing is coming out. Yeah, first things first, we better get attacking this. It's almost, almost out. But look at this thing hiding in here. Look at that metal fence running all the way up there. It's not fun because obviously it's all tangled in. I don't think it's very deep or anything. It's just all tangled. So we'll get this bit out as well. Hello then guys, I would be lying if I said this wasn't an absolute bloody nightmare. This thing here, man, it's took probably over an hour longer than expected. It looks like it's nothing, right? It's been a ball ache. And we've also come into some problems with this job. First one. So our post was gonna go somewhere around there. Obviously the hedge was in the way, so it was really hard to tell everything. Well, that is definitely in the way. So, so to the customer, we're gonna put our first post here in this hole, and then we're gonna cover that gap there there's no point having a fence if you can just walk through into the neighbours, right? So we've sorted this problem. Second one, 
just try and guess the guideline if you can guys straight down there right so it's not at the wall it's around about here if we are to take this up can you see how it shoots massively over there we can't just cut it off and take that bit out and leave all the dead we definitely can't do that so we'd have to take all that out and look how far it leans over a good two three meters that would create a massive massive hole for this neighbor not the people who were doing the fence that would all be locked in but for the uh for the customer's neighbor that would not look good and remember as joe everest says there's two sides to a fence everyone's got to be happy so the customer who we're doing the fence for has said let's leave it in and let's just do an angle across and then run all the way back down the rockery wall so that's what we're going to do so when we get this first bay and we'll catch back up because we need to make some progress we've got ahead of ourselves guys forgot to get the bloody camera out on the tripod it's all set up forgot to put it on the uh on the tripod but that's it so far so this next bay is gonna go here somewhere around here see that line i'm gonna get this one somewhere around here of course we won't be putting a panel in so we'll have to do our technique with the six foot level and the three foot level it's gonna still look good though nice one there all the way there little small one there and then we'll carry on returning all the way down oh of course we've got to do a small one there as well now i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this one yet um i don't know i'm not 100 sure i might just do a panel no gravel board for this one so i'm not interfering with this drain at all not 100 sure possibly got to angle it off here as well so you see obviously we've been asked to go in line with this drain pipe well can't really attach a panel to this drain pipe can i so I'm going to probably bring it onto their, onto their boundary. I'm not going to go onto the neighbours. I'll come onto their boundary with a panel straight across. It's flush, probably just touching it. So from here, it will still look in a straight line. It will, be, it will vertically be in a straight line. But it's this one now. Customers kindly brought out a, a coffee. Be stronger and move better. Love it. Gryffindor. Or Gryffindor. Who likes Harry Potter? Let us know in the comments. But yeah. What house here? Yeah, what house? So we put two posts in there because the angle was too crazy to try and get over. As I've mentioned before, those corner posts are at 90 degree angles and it just wouldn't work. So we've done two posts, same height, um, also matching that height there. And then the gravel board pretty much matching the one next to it just need to just give it a little tap down on the right hand side there and then we're good to go so pretty much the same one over there as all now guys need to dig a post somewhere around about where the shovel is same principle for for this bit so it's a little bit boring so once we've done it we'll catch back up got those posts in don't look too bad to be honest nice little diamond shaped corner quite like it it's gonna look nice when they're in uh we'll cut a gravel board get the gravel board in and i think we'll have a bite to eat but uh there's the gravel board oh that was terrible how can you have magic fingers if you don't click right there's the gravel board there's the gravel board lovely and level it's gonna look nice when those two panels are in you know because they are almost the same sort of uh width give or take around about 30 inches it's gonna look nice and then Fencing all the way down there and there's that bloody edge that was a nightmare to get out. Well, I think it's looking better already, guys. Me and Finn, just about to have a bite to eat. What time is it, Finn? Ten past two. Ten past two, time for some lunch. I've got sheer wraps as well because we, uh, we didn't take Finn to the shop, so. You've made a wrap for Finn as well, Charlie, so. <laughs> we'll have 15 minutes and then we'll crack. So I was looking forward to those wraps. I was bigging them up to Finn as well, saying, don't worry about the shop, mate. Mrs. makes a banging wrap. When you leave them in the car, <laughs> None of you are eating. Look, so, I'm going shop, innit? Finn's going shop. He's gonna he's gonna get me a drink, he's gonna get me a pasta, pasta, however you say it. <laughs> we'll catch back up later. So seeing as Finn saved us and went to the shop, we've got a bit more energy. So let's get this next bay in.
So then guys, how many of you are wondering why is that facing that way and the others are facing the other way? Well, the customer has asked us to do it that way. It backs onto a road, so maybe they don't want people climbing over the rails. I still think it's going to look nice. We're facing the gravel boards and the posts in anyway, because they're the only ones that are ever going to see those gravel boards. Yeah. Let's get that down there. Just turn you a little bit. Let's get it out of the way. So we've took the old fencing down, spoke to the customer, happy for us to just take it down, leave it for the night, replace it with this tomorrow morning. Put some panels on there, a few tools, lovely bit of concrete, hedges staying, got no room for that right now. I'm not sure if we'll leave that for the grab. Grab can park up here and grab it. That would be ideal, see what my dad thinks. Just took the excess materials off. We're gonna use all of the gravel boards, the end post. We're only gonna be using two of these panels because the custom ones, Jamie's gonna make special like he's done with them. And that one, he's making that one, that one and that one now. They'll be done tomorrow as well. But yeah, bit of a transformation already, considering there was a hedge that tall there. And me and Finn took it out by hand, as you saw. I'm not sure if you saw my clips or my dad's clips first. I know we've both had a grueler. But anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. You'll have a see my dad's clips. Or we'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Well, the storm is on the way. We've had some rain last night. I didn't think we had that much rain. But look at this. We have got a moat. So at the minute we are pumping that out. With the pump, and pumping it down the garden. And we're just setting up the digger now and we're gonna crack on. But at the minute, it's blue skies. But that storm, it's on its way. So we need to get these footings out today because me and Stevie go on a holiday on Saturday. Another holiday. I know what you're going to say in the comments. Another holiday. But we've worked super, super hard for this one. But yeah, we're going for, away for a week. And I think we'll be filming. But yeah, let's get these footings out. Get that other stuff moved. And then we've got a drain to put in in the front garden before this storm comes. Good afternoon, guys. Me and Finn are back. You've seen what my dad's been doing on the foundation job. Who knows, we might have joined him and then maybe you've seen this footage. Time will tell. We're on the job, we're on the fencing job. It's that Friday of the week. It's, uh, it's that Friday feeling of the week as well. But apparently it's the biggest storm day that we're having this year or something and everyone's advised to stay at home. But me and Finn, we've got fences to put up. We're not bothered if this tree comes down at us. We're gonna get it done. Slight change. Customer has asked if we'd be able to slide them out and spin them so they match them ones. Not a problem. We've got those panels here as well. So, this is what we're going to do. Get these four panels, we're going to change them to, we're going to install them to, and we're going to do it with these magic fingers. You know how it works by now, guys. Oh, baby. Looking very, very pretty indeed. Now it's me and Finn to get these next two in. We'll get this one in with a clicky fingers because the hedge is in the way to set the camera up. There we have it. Not making the drop as much as that one. Trying to sort of level it off a little bit. It's going to drop a little bit again, but we don't want to drop it too much for this customer. But what do you think to this one, guys? A bit hard to show you with a hedge, but you get the gist of it. So we haven't been filming, guys. We've just been cracking on. Finn's on the last final tidy up now. The, uh, this little bit of metal and all of this hedge is staying. The grab's gonna grab this on Monday or so, I believe. Proper, proper windy now. You can tell that this uh, Eunice or whatever her name is, she's about, obviously once this, uh, once this hedge is gone, I'll show you this fencing properly. I'll come back and show you. As you might be able to remember, that hedge was there and it was looking like this. Terrible. And now it is looking a lot, lot better. Put a panel in there as well. Very, very nice. Oh, we also agreed not to use a gravel board there for the drain, just in case. Uh, that's what it's looking like. Obviously there was all of this fencing. It was falling down, cream, but that's it now. Customer asked. 
if we could have a slow pot. So that's what we gave them. Gave them a nice slow pot. And then I did a little custom thing here. Well, Jamie the magician made this for me. I've had to do a little bit of a cut there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'll show you from the other side. I do apologize for not filming guys. I know you're already over an hour. Well, I, I do feel guilty when I don't film, but I just needed to get this job done. And it's windy. I bet you can't even hear me. I bet it's annoying. That's it from that side. Not looking too shabby if I do say so myself. Goes well with a rockery. And obviously the nice, nice fresh panels. Again, customer has asked us to put the rough side out with the concrete. Good side in, panels opposite. So you've got the rough side of the gravel boards because no one's really going to see these gravel boards. Look, they're hidden. I believe that is not too shabby. Also remember it does return down there as well. Very happy with that. That's pretty much it guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with my dad because me and Finn are going to go see my dad and the lads now. So we'll see you when I get there. So then guys, my dad didn't feel much today. I didn't feel much today. We just needed to get stuff done. Hence why you didn't see me and Finn when we got to my dad at that um, footings job. Do apologise for that. Dad Jordan and Jordan, they finished the footings and it was just a little bit longer than what you originally saw this morning. We will be back there after the holiday, so you will get to see what my dad actually got up to. But we're back at the yard because it is pretty much the end of the day, Friday. Um, it's been a good one. It's been a really, really good one. And don't forget, if you want to win these competitions, you have got to be active in the comments. You've got to like, you've got to share. Just like Jeanette did, who won the Not Too Shabby jumper or sweatshirt yeah she has been in contact with us and she's super super happy so like i said get active in them comments like share come on we want to be hitting 100k next and you know what every time we hit the next goal will be 50k 60 70 and every time we hit them we'll be giving a bit of merch away so come on get us up to 50 and then we'll give someone else away. With that said, that's another hour long episode for you guys. You love these episodes when they're an hour long. It's crazy. It's just super, super crazy. As my dad says, get down in the comments, get commenting, get liking and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, press the notification bell to be notified every time we release some awesome content because it helps us all out, right? But I think that is another day and another week at D&J Projects. Definitely. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one.